to SportsWire Summer Review here at the home of the green and gold. I'm Will Catterley. We talk all sports and Ryko from last year. And what better place to start than on the gridiron, where last season the Warriors flexed their muscles. Next season, as you can tell behind me, they get a brand new field. Well, the Warriors had a brutal October schedule in 2018, facing three undefeated teams in a row. Their first loss coming to Highland Springs. They followed that up with a win over undefeated Atlee, setting up a colossal matchup with unbeaten Verina, where the game came down to the final play. So let's get this party started on a senior night at Henrico. Several football stars, including the band members, dance team cheerleaders, the whole nine yards. There were a whole lot more than just nine yards. Uh, gained in this one. From the very beginning, Verina got something going. Mr. Floyd Jones, go son, go! What a run! And the future looks so bright on this drive. For Verina, you gotta wear shades. Yeah, the sun's setting and the silhouette behind Jones. He's excited, let's go. But the Henrico defense answered the call after the big play. They stopped this fourth down conversion, which is not converted. Henrico takes over. Warriors would have a couple three and outs themselves, but they lived with the big play, and this was one of them. Quarterback Jalen Jones finds his man. Touchdown, Rasheed, action. Jackson, 45 yards later, 7-0. Henrico, second quarter now. Jalen Jones, great with his arm. He also can make time in the pocket. Guess who? Big night for Rashid Action Jackson. Once again with the catch. Jones was huge throwing the football in this one. And also on the ground, it would lead to this. Eric McDaniels takes it in from nine yards out. We might have a round on our hands, right? It's 14 0 Henrico at that point. About to make it 21. This is where the game would turn around. Jones looking, looking, firing, fighting. It's intercepted by number 12, Leonard Scott, saving the day, at least for the moment, for Verina. So it'd be 14 0 at the half. Scoreless was Verina on offense in the first half. But special teams would get him back going. The block punt, and then the recovery. Helmet comes off, so they stop play, but it's Verina football. Is big number 54, Alonzo Ford, with the recovery on the block kick. A couple plays later would lead right to this. Floyd Jones, this time he's gonna make sure he finds Pater. Touchdown, Verina and the Blue Devils. 21 yard run for Jones, new game. Could have been 21-0, instead now it's 14-7. Still in the third quarter, same score. Oh my goodness, Jalen Jones. As I said earlier, great with his arm. He's going to take off all the way to the house. He's going to find Pater 72 yards later. Jones puts Henrico back on top by two scores. It's 21-7. Verina, though, second half, they really got their run game going. They never abandoned who they are. They ran the football well. Dominique Hayes Nelson on that carry. How about this? Gashing the defense, touchdown. Verina comes a calling and they answer. Alton Costin with the touchdown run. Extra point miss, 21-13, still a one score game in the third. Still in the third quarter, Verina gets it back. And this is a catch, is it a catch? Um, Looks like he lost the football going to the ground. They call it a catch. Same drive, fourth quarter. Gotta have it, right? They get it, touchdown run. Number 17 doing the honors, Tayshawn Crutchfield. And Crutchfield, five yards out. Do they go for two? Of course they do, they tie things up. And they convert. This time, Alton Costin doing the honors. We got an absolute barn burner at 21 apiece, 11.04 to go in the fourth. Calm, cool, collected, Jalen Jones says, I got the answer. Wide open, wide receiver, and it is all good with Justin Good. And just in the nick of time, Henrico up by a touchdown 28-21. Verina 
after a punt starting from their own one yard line. What do they do? With under four minutes to play, run the football. Dominique Hayes Nelson once. Dominique Hayes Nelson a second time. You gotta tackle him. Big time yardage. They were getting chunks of 15, 20 yards per play on this drive. How about some more Dominique Hayes Nelson? He is feeling it. Down the sidelines, inside the 15 yard line. Tick, tick, tick. Verina though with a chance. Can they tie it up? Here's the run to the end zone. He gets in, touchdown, Alton, Costin. Extra point would tie it. Will they go for two to win it? Stu Brown says, bring out the kicker. Let's tie this sucker up. We got Uncle Mo, momentum on our side. The extra point for the tie. Doink, no good. Oh man, just missing it. It even hit the inside of the post that could have gone in. Instead it bounces out and that is the way the game would be decided. The Henrico Warriors hang on and survive, 28-27. Hey, Coach told us, just go out there and ball. Yeah. Don't worry about the offense. Yeah. The offense is going to do their job. And I end up telling my offense, the defense is going to be behind y'all 100%, 100%. And that's what we did. And we came out with the W. The Warriors would go on to make it to the playoffs with a number three seed and only one loss in the regular season. Then they'd win a rematch against Verina to get to the semifinals, where for the first time since 1999, Henrico had a chance to make it to the regional finals. But first, they had to go on the road to beat Elsie Bird. And that's just what this Henrico football team looked to do at LC Bird. They brought the spear and the hammer to this one. And uh, early on, however, the Skyhawks doing what they do. Abusing the defense with the ground game. Look at him go, tackled out of bounds. Trey Mason with a big time pickup and it would lead to this. Faking out even our camera guy, it's Jordan Payu, and it's gonna pay off. Touchdown, LC Bird. Skyhawks flying high, like a lot of people imagined. Up seven, nothing in the first quarter, but the Henrico defense stood tall and rose to the challenge after this. Big tackle in the backfield. Trey Mason not doing anything there. Then later forced to punt, and they were called for two illegal procedure penalties, so that was their third option this time. Big return for Henrico. Number three, Fred Jones from the 40 all the way down to the LC Bird 10, it would lead to this. Barksdale, is he in? Yes, before the fumble, says the referee, Raquan Barksdale, touchdown. Henrico, so it's seven to six, extra point, no good. More defense, check out the mud on everybody's jerseys. It was that kind of night. Let's go second quarter, Henrico back on the drive after the stop. The pass complete, connecting with Justin Good, and it's all good. Inside the five, it would lead to this. This guy's had himself a heck of a season. McDaniels, Eric, two-yard run for the touchdown. Henrico, their first lead of the game. They would go for two and make it 14 to seven in the second. Still in the second, it looked like Elsie Bird was going to respond. Check out the run to the left. Can't even make the tackle right there. Still going, still on his feet in the slop in the mud. First down, Skyhawks. But again, Henrico's defense would stand tall. A big run here by Bird. Now deep in the Henrico territory. 1.6 seconds to go. Late in the second, what does Bird do? They're going for the touchdown. Surely they'll get in, right? Wrong! Henrico D stuffs them in a huge swing of momentum as the Warriors would go into the half up 14 to seven. Back come the LC Bird Skyhawks and living on the ground, which is their mantra, worked all year long on this night. Henrico, again, their defense all over the place answered the call. I'd give you numbers, I can't see their jerseys. Still a 14-7 game, we go to the fourth. Big time holes for Eric McDaniels. That's good for a first down and lead to this. McDaniels on the run. It's going to take one, two, three Skyhawks to tackle him. McDaniels, 13 carries, 67 yards, and more importantly, not one, but here it is, two 
touchdown runs on the night, 21-7, Henrico and the Warriors. For the first time since 1999, they're doing Mud Angels. They go to the regional title. We came out, we played, but offense got to give it to the offense. You know, big 5-4, number 14, number one, all of them, just number six. All the big players, everybody on offense did good, baby. That's all I got. Henrico's season came to a close in the regional championship game, falling to the eventual state champion, Highland Spring Springer. Still a tremendous season, only two losses all year, a regional title appearance, both losses coming to Highland Springs, defending state champs. Well, when we come back, we hit the hardwood for some guys' hoops, had another terrific season, and got off to a blistering start as well. But first, how about a little action from signing day in football for one key linebacker? to Henrico, but we stick with football. Congratulations to Khalil Finger, as Coach Glasgow has some words for the star linebacker to start his senior season at the home of the green and gold. Khalil Finger signs with BMI. I knew all my brothers would tell me, just trust the process, and that's what I had to do. Just trust it, and not, not, uh, put myself down, but lift myself up and keep working. Hey! So, same time next week? Well, of course. Put away a few bucks, feel like a million bucks. For free tips to help you save, go to Feed the Pig. Looks like it's done. Don't let salmonella get funky with your chicken. On average, one in six Americans will get a foodborne illness this year. You can't see these microbes, but they might be there. So learn the right temperature to cook each type of meat. Keep your family safe at foodsafety.gov. Welcome back to Sportswire Summer Review here at Henrico. Well, when it came to guys' hoops, the gym was lit last season, and Henrico's talents were on full display as they traveled to Hermitage to take on the Panthers. Vance Harmon and the Warriors 2-0 on the season at Hermitage. Vance saying, what are you doing? Already working the refs early in the 2018 campaign. This guy was working the rim. Jave Estead with points. This game was tied at 25 when I walked in the building second quarter. Um, and then Henrico went on a big time run. Count that and the foul as James Woody gets under the ledger. More Estead, this time dropping the dime, the assist. That is good to number 11, Jeremiah Langley. Langley was four for four in the ball game. Hermitage trying to come back. That is no good. And then look at Henrico in transition. It's Estet again. Estet all the way to the rack, count it. He got that one to go. It's like an 18 to three run for Henrico in the second quarter. Hermitage trying not to go away. Check out the loose balls too. Everything going Henrico's way early on in this campaign and in this ball game. Estad hits the triple, it's the money maker. And the Warriors, absolutely on fire. As I said, 18-3 run, 43-28 at the half. Third quarter, Hermitage trying to get back into it from the outside, no. But the rebound this time, Hermitage gonna corral it, find the open guy down low. He puts it up and in as uh, Number 23, E.J. Washington, led all scorers, 16 total points. And then Tyler Wade gets into the action as well. He had six on the night, but it was all Henrico in the second half. Jeremiah Langley, I said he went four for four. He's also three for three from the line. He had 11 points in this one. There he is again as uh, Langley doing the damage. Henrico doing it from beyond the arc as well. This guy had himself a ball game. Estead with the miss, but guess what? More grittiness and toughness on the floor. Getting to the loose ball and Estead's gonna finish. Jame Estead, eight for 14. More Estead. 24 points on the night in 25 minutes of play. He led the way scoring for Henrico. Warriors again on the break. 
This is when they've been their most dangerous, and we could probably see more of that again. Off the bench, number one with the bucket. He puts it up and in, 61-35, going to the fourth. It was all Warriors putting a stamp on this one. Feed the big man down low, that one goes. And the foul for number 24, Deshaun Price. And the price is right for Henrico. 79-49, they win it. Henrico won 12 of their first 13 contests until getting hammered at Highland Springs. So payback was on their mind when they welcomed back the Springers to their house. So the Springers come into Henrico looking for the sweep. Damon Wirtz and company taking on Jaden House, who had himself a ball game early on first quarter action. Inside, Warriors would score inside and out. I'm out. I mentioned Jaden House. There's two of his 22 on the evening. And Ryko stroking from outside the arc as well. The long J, good from Jeremiah Langley. He had 15. Then in transition, watch the Springers come back. They get the interception, as if it's a football game. And offensive rebounds can pay dividends. When you get them, when you give them up, you usually get burned. The three ball, good. And Damon Wirtz connects. He had 18 on the evening. Remember I said offensive glass? Henrico did a good job on the boards themselves. This time, Daquan Stevenson only had four, but they all add up. Then from beyond the arc, Zai Ever, wherever, Wingfield, he had a big night. Last time these two teams met, he scored in double figures. Crump. Kind of had uh, an okay night, but not by Jordan Crump standards. Still, Highland Springs went on a run there, up 20 to 16 after one. Second quarter. Here comes Henrico in transition. All the way to the rack. Jaden houses it. Puts it in for two more. Back and forth we go. Great first half of action, by the way. That shot is up and in. Christian Wilson. Back comes Henrico. The 50-50 balls, they got those two. Count that and the foul. Langley had himself a night. 15 points, seven rebounds, and he was seven for seven from the field. Back comes Highland Springs. Crump and company keeping at arm's length. And then, oh man, that is a serious block. You kidding me? Jermaine Talbert. Saw him earlier sign. You think he was pumped up for signing day? How about for this game? Back comes Langley and Henrico. Then Springer's on the steal. Still in the second quarter. He's got to block himself. Woo -hoo -hoo, it's getting fun now. Daquan Stevenson's 36-30. Henrico turns the tables. They were down four after one. Now up six. Make it eight. Slam it home. Jaden House. 22 points in 27 minutes. He went eight for 12 from the field. Then count that bucket and one for John A. Estet. You're going to hear more from Estet. Here's Estet, as a matter of fact. Long J, nothing but nylon. The wet jumper goes. Waning moments. One second to go. The heave from half court. John A. just did it. He hits the three ball from half court at the buzzer at the end of the third. Warriors up big in the fourth. Putting them away now. Completely different looking team than where they were the first time these two match. And Rika wins this one going away. 84-74, your final. Well, the focus was a whole lot better. I mean, we had to figure out a way to win, and that means getting stops and getting rebounds and making that extra pass if necessary. So I was real proud of the guys. They're a good team, and they turned the game real uh, sloppy, and then it was up to us to finish it off. Henrico finished with an 18-win season before bowing out to Freeman in the playoffs. Well, we head to the diamond and the field hockey field as both teams look to make the most against their greatest rival. That's next. You got a key? Go fish! In your face, in your face, in it only takes a moment to make a moment. Take time to be a dad today. Welcome back to the show. 
And Ryko Field Hockey has had better seasons, but they'd also had worse. One trend remained the same, however, dominance against their East End rivals, Verina and Highland Springs. To field hockey we go, let the rivalry continue on the East End. It's Henrico, it's Highland Springs, early action, first half. She shoots, great save by the Springer's keeper. She was dynamite all evening long. Highland Springs with a chance. That's gonna be kicked out of harm's way. No score late in the first half, though things would change. Check it out, inside pass, kicked away. And that is a beauty as well. But Henrico would have some corner opportunities. Fired back into the circle. And Glen Allen staying with it, staying with it. And finally, she shoots, she scores. Goal. Henrico, behold the green and gold. They have a 1 0 lead. Nia Davulari. Puts it in the back of the net. And then, still in the first half, it's a breakaway. She shoots, she scores. Lakshmi Diva Karuni makes it 2 0. Henrico, and things look like they were getting out ahead until Sierra knocks it in. That would be Sierra Tutwiler with the goal. Highland Springs back in business, just down by one. Still in the first half, though, Henrico trying to counter and get that two-goal lead back. You saw 17 earlier. That shot is deflected wide. And we go to the second half. So still 2-1. to one. And then Henrico would have some opportunities. Great job by the keeper here. And then Highland Springs a chance to tie it. Watch what happens. Springers get control. The centering pass. Oh, nobody's home to finish. That would have tied things at two. But as it stands, still two to one, Henrico, and instead, check this out. Get that out of there, I'm kicking it out. Get that out of there, I'm doing it twice. Bunch of saves for the Springers keeper, but Henrico kept the pressure on. That time it's saved, she's gonna come out of net. And uh, Henrico, Johnny on the spot, they're gonna get the ball, and then what a goal off the stick. Swung on and hit in the center for a base hit and a goal. Jolene Ghosh, oh captain, my captain, makes it three to one. Henrico still not finished. Check out the effort here by the keeper, but eventually the extra pass, unselfish. She shoots, she scores. Srista, Chapathi, and Henrico go on the road to rival Highland Springs, and they come out on top. Final score, Warriors win it. Four to one is your fight. Sometimes in life you can put in all the work and still not get the results you want. That was exactly the case for Henrico Baseball. They went into their final game of the season without registering a win. But on senior night, a victory over rival Highland Springs would be bittersweet. Welcome back to Sportswire. You know, sometimes it's just not your year, Henrico. Zero wins on the year in their last game of the season against rival Highland Springs. First inning, what a play defensively. Doesn't look like they hadn't won a game. They get the double play, the out made in the outfield, and then they pick off the runner who's off of first. Later, Henrico trying to get it going. They have a runner on third. It's an RBI ground out. Warriors take the lead. one nothing against Highland Springs. Still batting, still in the second. That dog will hunt, it's a base hit and an RBI single. It's a two nothing lead for Henrico. Earlier in the year, they lost 5-1 Highland Springs on the road. Springers would get their bats back and going. Lumbering in the third base, number 36, Dustin Beggs. He says, I beg to differ on this two nothing disadvantage. We're gonna come right back, and they would. Trayvon Wilkerson was the one who delivered the single. And they get the RBI ground out right there, so that makes it a two to one ball game as Beggs comes around to score. And still not done are the Springers. Uncle Charlie, the curveball, watch out, pitcher, he'd be okay. Goes off his shoulder, but a run does come in in the form of Wilkerson and Highland Springs off the base hit by Chase Cheatham in business. Another Uncle Charlie curveball, that one right down the middle of the plate, he got all of it. One run scores. Here comes another. He'll score. Still rounding the bases is number seven who runs into the third baseman. They call interference. So for Devon Smith, hey man, 
I don't know how they scored at home, but in this world and universe, it's a round tripper. And inside the park, home run, unless there's an error. Five to two, Highland Springs looking well on their way in the fourth. You know what? Warriors did not quit. Runner on third, ball gets away, and Ryko scores a run. It's a two-run ball game. Keeping it close, giving them a chance. Then, Beggs comes in. That's a base hit with a runner on second. He's gonna hold up at third. Karen Wallace, Karan Wallace stays at third, while number seven, Trevor Green with the hit. And then, some wildness ensues. ensues. That ball inside, hit by a pitch. Run comes around to score because the bases are loaded. Now it's 5-4 in the six. We go top seven. Highland Springs, do what Highland Springs does. Base hit down the left field line. They get one of those runs back. Now it's a six to four ball game as number 10 comes in to score. Damari Kendall begs back on the mound in the seventh. Ooh, that ball looked close. Where was it? I guess it was down. They call ball four. Now two runners on. That's low for ball four. That's gonna load the bases. It would lead to this. Seventh inning, down two. Hit by a pitch. That ball's too far inside. Obviously he didn't do it on purpose. He doesn't want to give up the run, but run comes around the score anyway. And then Ryko just down one, another hit by pitch. Here comes another run to score. Now we're tied at six. And it's set up for this. Trevor Green could be the man of the hour. Hit to deep center, and it lands in front of the center fielder. Runner comes around to score. Trevor Green is your hero. And as David Bowie would say in the great movie Zoolander, it's a walk-off. Walk-off shot for Trevor Green, and Enrico wins her first game of the year, 7-6. A cool moment to be sure, in walk-off fashion, no less. Well, have a great summer, Warrior Nation. Remember, if you have questions or comments about the show, just send me an email to this address, sportswire, at henrico.k12.va.us, and you can always follow us on Twitter. I can't wait to see you next time on Sportswire. If you want to see more videos like these, subscribe to our YouTube channel.